Today, I picked myself up a cowboy hat. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here on the ranch, and I picked myself up my very first straw cowboy hat. Now, this one is by Bullhide, and I'm hoping that the hat sizes here stay pretty consistent between companies because I actually need a pretty big hat. This is seven and three eighths. So if you're sending me any hats, send them big, go big or go home. Now, I have never had one of these straw hats before, and that's because out here in the summer, it gets a little warm, a little hot. Muggy sometime, and then felt hats are pretty hot in the summers. So the straw hats are nice. And you can see here, we've got a lot of venting up here. So the air will pass right over my big noggin and exhaust right out the sides here. So this says bull hide right there. This is a new creation of Monte Carlo Hat Company. I just thought I'd try them out. You know, I've got my Stetson and I've never had a resist all. Should I get a resist all? I've heard really good things about them, but this one is actually kind of interesting, at least by the specs and by the price. It was a pretty good deal. So if I just pull tags off here and I flip it over here, what we can see is we can see the bull hide sticker right in there. And right here, it says, congratulations, because I'm a buyer of their fine products. And then right here, it says bull hide Corsicana 20X. And this is the Bangora. And the 20X, I think it's supposed to be a little thicker, a little nicer, it's supposed to hold up a little better. It's funny because whenever I've seen these in the past, I've always kind of thought they were plastic. They feel a little bit like plastic, but apparently they're straw and then they're covered with lacquer. And so you want to be a little careful with that lacquer, but that's what holds the shape, keeps them a little waterproof. But you can see here the shape of this, it's kind of nice, like Jersey mesh material band in there. So it's not leather and it's going to hopefully absorb a little sweat. You can see how the top is shaped there. So it's easy to grab right there. And we've got a little band right here. What I did not know is we've got a little tail to the band right there. That's probably not necessarily my style. I kind of like it looking a little clean here, but That'll work. Now, the question is, will this fit? It will make me actually look like a cowboy. So let's go ahead and put it on. I'm hoping it'll fit. Got a big head. It's a big head, mind you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, right on there. It's a little snug in the sides there, so it'll stay on when I'm riding my horse, or more specifically, my five-speed huffy bicycle self. So, Man, how's that look, huh? Is that legit? Yeah, right there. Now I put on my XXL sunglasses and get out in the field. And I don't have to worry about sun beating down on me because I got my summer hat from Bullhide here. They're not expensive. That's the nice thing about it is they're cheaper than a lot of other regular hats that don't look half as cool. So if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Ron Panda, out.